Hey y'all, so I just recently cleaned out my closet. I do have three very large garbage bags to show for it. And you may remember a video I posted a couple weeks back talking about the guidelines that I wanted to follow as I was going through my clothes. Well, I think I did a pretty good job of following those and paying close attention to the things that really matter to me and what I want out of my garments, the clothes that I wear, um, what lives in my home and my closet. So today I wanted to show you some of the items that I'm getting rid of and why. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have quite a few things I wanted to show y'all. I mean, I didn't pull out every single pair of socks that I got rid of. I didn't think that'd really be interesting to you. But I did pull out some garments with a story that I have some points I want to address. So I hope y'all enjoy this and I hope we get through a lot of them. So this first dress is just from Old Navy. It is 100% cotton. The neckline on this dress, the pattern, I don't know what it was, was not sewn for a real woman. And I'm not even talking about size. I'm just talking about someone who has actual shoulders and breasts and, and a chest. Like it, it is not cut correctly. It's very tight. Your little arm fats poke out. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what size someone is, everyone has these. I call it the female taint taint boob, taint arm. So even though I can wear it with a blazer, it's just not something I wear anymore. I've always liked the way it looks on my butt and that's the only reason I've kept it for this long, but it is going. Now this next garment is a black pencil skirt from Talbot's. Unfortunately, it is a four petite and I don't know why I didn't notice that when I purchased it. Also, the skirt's a little tighter than I remembered when I purchased it. Perhaps I've gained a little bit of weight, I don't know. But most importantly, it's the fabric that the skirt's constructed with. It is a wool and acrylic blend, and I hate those two words so much. I do not know how some people can wear them. It is so incredibly itchy to me. You see sweaters quite frequently, wool and acrylic blends, and I cannot stand them. I will itch my skin raw. And this skirt is fully lined fully lined and I can still feel the itchiness through it so I don't wear it. Now I do have three pairs of pants here that I'm going to take my own damn advice on and that is to get rid of your skinny jeans. If you know me, you know I'm on like a personal crusade to rid every woman of the demon inside of our closet that is skinny jeans. You know the jeans that are like too small for you and every time you open your closet they laugh at you and call you fat? Yeah, those. I hate them. These pair of jeans are a perfect example. They're from Buffalo. They are a gorgeous pair of like washed out black denim skinny jeans. They make your butt look so cute too. And they fit me nice enough everywhere else, but they don't fit me in the waist. And that is something I've always struggled with throughout my life, finding jeans that fit, um, that are tight enough in the leg and butt, but also fit my waist because I am kind of straight. Um, as I've gotten older, I've gotten some more curves, but especially when I was younger, I was straight. I'm built like my dad. And they would look like they fit me. They look like the right size, but just something about the waist. I can't get them on. I can't get them to be comfortable. And I hold on to them, looking at them, thinking how beautiful they are. And then every time I try them on, it makes me feel like shit about myself. So I'm going to take a bit of my own advice and get rid of them. This vest is a perfect example of why I often wonder if these fast fashion, cheap fashion houses even bother to look at a female body before they start designing clothes. Because this makes me and any woman who wears it appear, you know, three sizes larger than they are. If they would have paid a little bit of attention and nipped in the waist a tiny, tiny bit, a couple of darts, it would have made a world of difference. Second thing are these huge pockets on front. Anywhere you put any pocket, any design, any decal, it attracts the eye just naturally. That just naturally happens. You put these big square pockets right on the stomach and it just draws all the attention to the stomach and makes your stomach look even bigger. And I personally carry my weight in my stomach. Like, like I said, I'm built just like my dad. We're, we're kind of those apple shaped bodies. And so that is the last place I need to draw attention to. Anyway, just totally missed the mark for me. It's sad when I see like just these tiny little changes. If you would have paid a little bit closer attention, it actually could have been a cute garment. Now this next sweater is another perfect example of what I was talking about. If you're going to go with the material that is puffier, chunkier, bulkier, whatever, then you need to pay close attention to fit 
and cut and the size that you need to go with. I would like it and I probably would keep it if it was at least two sizes bigger because this chunky sweater that in my opinion is a little bit too short so it already kind of shortens my waist, um, it hangs onto every single curve in a bad way. Now I am going to show you another sweater in comparison because I want you to see the difference. This gray sweater I adore. I love it to death. I wear it every winter. In my opinion, if you go for the chunky sweater, you want to go a little bit oversized. If you want to go with something slim fit, um, then make it a thinner fabric. Looking at the first and the second sweater, I almost look like two different people or two different bodies or at least two different sizes. So this next top I actually picked up at Kroger, which is our local grocery store. I thought it was actually kind of cute, and it was the one time that I got to wear it. Then I washed it on the gentle cycle, just like it says, and it shrunk to high heaven. As you can see, the sleeves don't even match up anymore. One arm, I guess, shrunk much worse than the other one. And more so than the arm, like I could kind of scrunch it up, make it look even, but the length of it shrunk and so now it just kind of hits me at a weird place, whereas I used to be able to wear it with leggings and it would cover my crotch and my butt and everything. This cropped leopard print jacket is a perfect example of just my taste changing as I'm growing older. Uh, if this was solid black, I would absolutely keep it because I do like the fit. It, it fits quite nice across the bust and the waist. Uh, my one caveat is that it doesn't button in the front. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It's from Charlotte Russe. It's fast fashion. They were trying to make it as cheap as possible, so they left off a button. But I think if a button had been there, it would have made a lot of difference. I think it would look a lot nicer and a lot more tailored. I just don't do bold prints anymore. I don't really do leopard print anymore. I used to be more into animal print. I'm not. Uh, I, I prefer neutrals. If I happen to come across it in black, I might pick it up. This next dress is actually from the Liberty of London collection that they did with Target quite a few years ago. The kind of 70s-esque floral print is just, it's not me. And what I've noticed uh, with my sundresses, with all of my dresses, is that that is the most colorful section of my closet. And to be honest with you, I don't necessarily like it. I am going for a more sophisticated, more grown-up look now. It's just what I prefer, and also just kind of comfortable and casual. Um, this kind of gives me little girl Easter dress vibes, and so I'm going to be passing it on. Well, thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did enjoy filming it and cleaning out my closet. It feels so good to have, like, fresh new wardrobe going into 2018. So the question of the video today is two. I couldn't decide between the two. The first one is what is your ideal closet? What does it look like? What's your dream closet? I would love to know. And the second one equally as important, I believe, what do you look for when you're out shopping? When you pick up something, you see something that you're interested in, what are you looking at? What are you looking for? Is it the way it fits on you? The way it fits with the clothes that you already own, et cetera, et cetera. I would love to know in answer to either one or both. But thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next video. Don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. I love y'all. Bye.